do have some minutes. I, Jen sent them. Did I forward them? If I not, do have no, no, no. We have hard copies yep. here. Um, it's oh, the October 2nd oh, meeting. Yeah. Let's, why don't we take a minute to um, take a look through them. I, this was the meeting where we went through and um, yeah. did the uh, approvals or not. I think it was in approvals in every case. I, I think we approved everything. Uh, all of the articles. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, what choice do we have? With some, uh, oh, you don't have to. Yeah, but. Um, I don't think we have any changes to it. No. No, we did not. No. I think I saw you didn't have to meet ahead of town meeting for any reason, right? You didn't meet the 23rd at all? No. No. Okay. No, somebody, I don't know who, but somebody sent out an email. We, we uh, set the meeting for right. six o'clock. Just in case. Right. And then I sent an email saying yeah. that the right. Yeah, we didn't. And it's not a bad idea because you never know. Right. We right. have some last minute stuff. Right. Yeah. And actually, I, I used to think that because it is, and, and this still may be true, that the very fact that it's sort of a Finance committee's town meeting. That you actually, during the course of the town meeting, there may, if it's necessary for the FinCom to take some action, you can. Good. If the meeting's yeah. been called right. right. Yeah. You can call an open meeting. It's just the way it works, but we've never had to do that. I, I think we're pretty smooth. I mean, considering. Okay. To Any, consider. Any, uh, is there a motion on the? I make a motion to accept the minutes as submitted. Is there a second? Second. second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Uh, Tracy will not be joining us. Uh, I can't imagine why. <laughs> it's another night when we have, uh, she has dual responsibilities, so we don't have uh, anything from her. Um, and, and item five, um, I talked to her about that. And she's in the process of developing uh, the calendar, the budget preparation calendar. Yes. Uh, I've actually got my first, uh, uh, she has sent, and I have not reviewed it yet, the first of the Catholic requests. Yes, it's right. So it's, okay. So, our in, it doesn't impact us mostly February and March. Um, yeah, unless we, for some reason or other, have an issue where there's an anticipated significant expenditure by a particular department we might want to bring them in to talk to, but I don't, she told me she didn't anticipate that at this point. Um, I haven't seen it. No, so. Um, we've 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 had more often than not it's usually been the fire department or police department that yep. we've, yep. we've had yep. come in and, and go over. So she's going to put it together and get it to all of us. You know their, their timeline with respect to what, when she gets the material. Um, and if she does her review and, and finds something that she thinks we may, uh, may want to. Pull in a department head, then we would do that. <clears throat> you know, with the town uh, ten years ago, we had every department come in and meet with us because we had no real town administrators, so we had to come in and go through the budgets and go through the line and mm -hmm. so on. But that initial work is done here. So. Okay. Um, the first quarter financial reports are in front of you. Um, most, well, not everybody is familiar with these. Um, the single sheet uh, is a year, year to year comparison of our revenues um, at this point in time. Um, and 
they're um, now if you're looking, basically you look, sort of look at the differences of red flag anything that um, they have a question about. Um, real estate taxes are tax liens. Yeah, yeah, right. And um, motor vehicle excise runs is running a little behind, but. I think a lot of people it, but it varies. That varies. Mm -hmm. you know, Sometimes it, it depends on the state sending yeah. out the mm -hmm. um, pilot. Um, that will come in um, at some point. That's payment in lieu of taxes. And that's usually uh, federal and state. Um, get some funding from them. Um, I think the wildlife. Federal, state, and private. We get and wildlife. Yeah, we get wildlife. Places summer. like Gubby and. And. Uh, it would be the federal government. Not yeah. Swim Island or right. whatever that. Yeah. But I think Gubby is done separately. Because uh, they don't have a. That theirs isn't on. No, things. it's a. Sometimes you do, and yeah. sometimes you don't. Yeah. <laughs> what do they feel like? But I think so there is. Go ahead. The 62 grand is simply from the federal government. And state. Yeah, the two governors. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And governors has in the past, most, most of the donations have been by way of uh, designated, like they buy a police cruiser. Right. Yes. Or, or, yeah, or, or truck. Or, or truck or something. They do something. They are, the town. I'm aware of this because I had a conversation with the master a while ago. They do plan on, whenever it happens, um, making a, a consistent donation towards a uh, police station. Yeah. Uh, how much? Still to be determined, but mm -hmm. whether that was Like everything right else. Now. They're in a capital campaign right now. Yeah. To try to raise that 70. Yeah. Yeah. 70. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's a great increase in the permits and licenses. Permits? Uh, just more building orders. That's a variety. That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we see. Double. Yeah. I don't think we see that broken down. But that's. This is period to period. It's period to period. It's not and so uh, when we get to the end of the year, sometimes we start fast and end slow. So I. While it, it is double, um, I look at that with sort of a jaundiced eye because it's going to come down yeah. by the time we get to the end of the year. It matches up pretty well. Yeah. Um, anyway. Stuff, it's, it's hard after yeah. quarter. You can't yeah. really yeah. say, oh, there, and this when you look, look at, unless somebody has any other questions on revenue, when you look at a change, that's like, excuse me, what are the Investments would be the funds that, um, like, that haven't been used yet, and they would put them in a in an interest-bearing uh, account. They've always been called investments. Um, it may have been called it's something else. No, it's always been called it investments. Been investments. Yeah, yeah, anything where you park money. Park money that you haven't paid yet, and so it's just a cash management. Account. Right. It's a, the treasurer. Has some freedom there, right? To, I think. Does the treasurer have freedom to 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 manage that? Yeah. Now? yeah. Yes. I think that's a. Yeah. Yeah. So, if a if a huge check came in for whatever reason, you might park it somewhere to to gain to gain the interest. <coughs> okay. Now the the other set of documents is our expenditures. Uh, and some of this can be a little bit um, disconcerting, but it's, it, it, some people would look at it and say, well, it's a quarter of the year. Why have we spent 100% of the budget? 
And there are and there are certain line items where that occurs. You'll see um, you'll see that as if you take a look through these. Did uh, you send this out? No, I just okay, got good. it. I just okay, got good. it. Because I thought I didn't get it. I got it at uh, four thirty today. Well, that's so. really good. That's <laughs> Just a little bit ahead of that. Uh, and there are times when, uh, if you get if you get it ahead of time, you run through it in circle, and then we can um, get your questions to Tracy ahead of time. Um, and we can do that. And if, if there's something that you want additional information, we'll circle it and then send you. Send her, I'll send her a note. Yeah, there are a few things, for instance, that come up on page yeah. three. We've got things that are spent virtually 100%, you know, 99.93% uh, insurance. We, you know, that's a sort of upfront to take care of the whole year. Well, yeah. I was just going to say, yeah. you usually pay insurance ahead. Right. And so you'll we'll see some of those, and some of them are going to come up zero, where we pay those later on. Yeah. So, well, occasionally you run into have. one that raises your, you know, your own red flag. In an ideal world, it's not, you know, you look and say, okay, 25% of the year, are we in that same ballpark? But Some it's things not, you can't, you can't do that. People send you a bill for 100% right. or a year, yeah. and you get paid. One of those, actually, you're going to find is a huge one. I don't know where it is at the moment. Uh, we pay Essex County retirement yes. in a lump sum at the beginning of the year because you get a discount. Yes. So you'll see, but that's a better way to do it. And you'll see a bigger, a large number, wherever that is, on you know, the line item. Uh, it should be under. All right, I'm going to 98.8. Oh, 90%. Yes, that's okay, it. That's ex-regional retirement. Ah. And it's paid for the year. Right. It's, it's on the last page. That's right. But they probably collected that over the past year. And well, no, it's in our budget. but So it's not a cash flow. It's just, it saves money. You save yeah. money by paying that ahead. Yeah. So. Okay, well, that's a there's nothing else you can do. You've got to pay it as you pay it. Yep. That's how you always request it. But it's hard to, to go through it in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I'm making a I'm sorry. I'm trying to just point out some of the anomalies. But it's only 25% of the year, yeah. so. If you get towards the end of the year, it starts to get a little bit more concerning. Easier. You know, we used to always, back in the day, it used to be the police department always seemed to manage to be closer to 90, 95%. And it was only three quarters of the way through the year. But that's changed. Uh, some of that was due to on the budget, actually. Absolutely. gotten a lot better. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. It used to be that people would spend money no matter what was in the budget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then it would come in, oh, we're 150% of budget. How are we going to cover yeah. that? What was 18's budget? 18. Uh, whatever it wanted to um, be. I know my head. Would it, it would have been uh, 17 and change. Sort of close. Yeah. This one is. I mean, you got to figure it's uh, oh my God, you it? I don't know. I don't know if not. Oh, do we have worse OCD than I? No, it's just if it's 17 if it, not everything is in one place, then it's 18%. The increase, of course, is 2.5. 2.5 plus new growth. Right. It's the revenue. And now there are other things that affect that, but for the most part, it's two and a half percent of existing um, plus plus new growth. The new growth has been running 150, 200. You know, it varies depending on how much building. Uh, they 
they have already. Where do you see that top of line is that page? Yes, we yes we approved that about a year ago. Last town meeting, I think. Uh, I think uh, right uh, uh, annual town meeting, I think that was an expenditure. Yeah. I owned the tree commission meeting, and they were still putting out the bids for taking down trees in October. So they're they're not so up running with it yet. <laughs> it's supposed to be the trees and the lights. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. That was that was that's good. Mm -hmm. Was to, for two reasons. One was the trees. The other yep. is we're going to, we we bought the lights, so now we have oh, the bucket okay. truck to change the light bulbs. Right, that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Part of the reason for it. So what is really is the town's town bottom. Yes, I don't know if it's completed. That was the plan. That is and the plan. I don't know and if it's done. Forwarding yeah. and transition from the, the sodium vapor to oh, the yeah. 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 Oh yeah. That yeah. was a fair fair something you saved on that. And there was a grant of some sort. Yeah. I thought so, yeah. So the cost of the purchase is pretty reasonable. Way better. Yeah. yeah. It would be better electrically, mm -hmm. money wise. Use, the usage. Maybe we could so now they have street lighting at $60,000. 60 grand goes to the employees. But does he have the lights themselves? Well uh, done, same page. Same page. No, but that's good because sometimes <laughs> our eyes see the same thing and don't catch those. You know, yeah. we've been doing right. it for a number of years. It's like it's good for somebody to say, "What is that?" Is that for the call? Is that under DPW? Oh. Street lighting. I believe that it is that number. Because I think that was the number we talked about bringing down 60,000 to. Was it about, about a third of it, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. So, I guess the question I had was is it for the rental of the street lights and it's gone away, or is it for the power to. Well, no, it's not the power to. That's the purchase. Not the power. The, a, the purchase a, is the next line down. Street lighting is 60, purchase is 130. We've expended 8,600. And that's the. Through the first quarter, which is the street lighting. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so they own the lights. Right. Until we take them out, we have to pay for them. Right. So the 60 grand is for street lighting, rental, and power. Basically, what we do is rent them, they power them, and they they maintain them. That would be national grid. So the town still doesn't own them, though. In the process, well, probably. As we change them out, yeah. what we do is we, we just identify the ones that are changed out, we take them off of the bill, and put them on power. So that's. Have that. Have any been changed? Not yet. I haven't seen any. So we, haven't done done we, we don't have them on Central Street. I know that. Yeah. Okay. Did that come through the capital planning, planning, that proposal? Did that? It did. Yeah. It did. Okay. Uh, actually, the, the bucket truck came through capital planning. The street lighting did not come through capital planning. But because it's lots of little It's pieces. an operational problem. And the. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's a good question, though. All right. Check on the uh, status, the status of the street lights. James will tell you. He's a good boy. Thanks. So the city expenses are the bulk truck. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, is it physically here? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see that. <laughs> you wouldn't know one bucket truck from another. Wow, well, this one you would. There have been a lot of bucket trucks yeah. around. Oh, yeah, they yeah. have been. <laughs> so I will check the James. Anyone else? Let's see anything that we want to uh, question. A little more information on huh? I didn't know there was a line for green control. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. There is. Yes. Get 
where the damn great heads? Much good may it do us. <laughs> yeah. No, that is, not, yeah, it is. That's very good. And that's a good one. To get more information. Yeah, the thing. Like, what is the uh, budget heads for green heads this year? Island? This uh, year, we did the actually the bugs in the air. Seven seasons, seven thousand and thirty dollars. I think you're right, because usually we get them in Byfield. Mm -hmm. It wasn't it wasn't a bad season this year. No, I don't know. Seven thousand. Yeah. We put up little signs, Byfield with it. Yeah. <laughs> when, they, when they put it's the probably, boxes in. That's probably true. You know, one of my first building projects was building those boxes for our place. So, uh, <laughs> and they work. This I they believe be is a is a payment to Essex County Mosquito Greenhead Control. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So manages that. I think that's what that's all about. But it is the black boxes. Yes. The boxes. That's partially. Yeah. So. See, we're learning all kinds of things. <laughs> or we will once we get answers to questions. Yeah. And if you, you know, if you look at Auburn and you have a question about anything, just shoot a note right there, trace it. She'll, uh, you know, hopefully have an answer. Hopefully. Okay. Um, special town meeting debrief. I was not there. Joe was not there. He was, you were in wherever you were. Manitoba. Manitoba. Um, I, I, from what I, could read the meeting itself was relatively most of the items passed without too it, much it was, of that. It was pretty even until item seven. Or until yes, we, until got, item until seven. we got to the building. Right. Okay. But, but in all honesty, the people have spoken. The town, even though it's not economical to do it the way that people want it, who pays the bills? People. Not, not the town, the people. I think what was the vote? I'm just on that town meeting. Floor. The vote on the town meeting we was needed 195 for and 159 against. Right. But then if you look at the actual vote. Then the vote <laughs> was close to 2 to 1 against. Right. Yeah. right. right. Oh. Mm -hmm. right. Although the vote was out of the electorate coming mm -hmm. out. Uh, right. 75%. 77%. I, mean, it was I, did see that. I did see, and I, we were here for the vote, and that 77% and the vote was almost 2 to 1. Isn't that, yeah, isn't yeah, that one of the biggest? I don't ever remember 4,000 people coming out to vote. I, I really don't. In 46 years, I don't I feel that's a, that's a misleading number in some ways though because there, at that point i don't think there was any effort to there was no widespread effort to get it to pass where there was a very widespread effort against it mm -hmm. so i don't it know was, that that reflects it was a political a thoughtful, thoughtful. people were angry right they wanted yeah. to build a police station and from my standpoint as someone who does business with lots of towns around here lots of police stations lots of fire departments a lot of the towns around here, they have a police station, they have a town hall, they have a fire station, separate buildings, and they like it that way. And someone brought brought something up to me the other day, and they said, you know, I wouldn't want to be working in a town hall above a police station. What if a prisoner grabbed the officer's revolver, shot the officer, and started just shooting? Right. And it went up through the town hall. I mean, I that know was, it sounds ridiculous. No, no, it doesn't, because actually that's a condition we had. Uh, yeah. We so had it's that. like, the keep old. the town hall right. safe, mm -hmm. keep yeah. the police station on right. its own with a sally port to protect the prisoner and protect the officer. But our responsibility here, this community, is, is, is not to make that decision. No, 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 no. It's, no, no, it's no. really Just, up to the board of selectmen to decide what they what they want to do going forward, then we look at it from a financial standpoint. And even the political though, piece belongs in that room. Oh the yeah. financial piece but, belongs but in this even room. Really. Financially. So let's talk, so we really have no we can't next step anything. until until we the next step until we know what direction they're they want to go in. Right. I mean we we, we evaluate the decision from a financial standpoint and, and explain the impact of it on on the taxpayers and 
and how it best meets the needs of the town. Um, but the um, you know we pay we're gonna we pay one hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year here. From a financial standpoint, obviously that's going to go up because we do have to go out to bid. We cannot continue. We have to go out to bid, um, which is interesting because. And, and I was, there's a, the, if you go out to bid, you potentially could get someplace that's less expensive to lease and provides the same office spaces or similar office space, depending on how you write the, write the specs for it. But it'll cost you a hundred and some odd thousand what? I mean, to move yeah. Yeah. So I've talked yeah. to Tracy about yeah. this, and you really need to figure out a way, and you really have to, I think she's probably going to talk to the Inspector General about that. In, in other words, I, my suggestion is you look at and su suggest that, okay, you set a figure, of, and we know what it costs to move here, and it right. was a lot of money. Exactly. And so if your lease, if your the proposal comes in and you prorate that over the three years of the lease and you put the cost to move into that, it should render somebody else ineligible if their cost with the cost of moving goes above it. Right. Above what the, the cost would be to stay here um, or whatever. So you don't have to go to the low bid in this. Why you, you have to have a very yeah. You have to have a good. You and I know we've been through it. <laughs> and I think I've the cost it. of the move yes more than has to be taken way. into consideration. Yes. I, I think it has to. Um, but uh, so I think we're still looking at one hundred eighty thousand dollars a year yes. for this place, yeah. or something like that. that. Next, I think it's pretty close to that. Um, so what's the cost for this place? Yes. Yeah. I know the one's the least. Oh, currently, we currently were, one. We we're in two years. More in two years. So. I don't know. Two years or three? I thought we were in three years. Yeah. I thought it was three years. But it's, it's been two years. It's up this year. So, so it's three so years. Gonna, so if it's up we this year. We have to go out to bid this year. Yeah. 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 So. It's crazy. There were rumors about buying the old holistic family health building. I don't. I yeah. can't see it working. They, they I don't think that. it's big enough. I couldn't see a meeting space. In There's there. a ton of issues with it, apparently. Sam went through it. I think yeah. they went through it. Did the building, did the, the capital planning go through? Did not go through. The, the other one is, was is it the actual building. I was going to say, that was for sale, right? But, but the, the funny $7, thing is, or it's 1.6. He would sell it for 1.6. He, he said he would sell it for whatever, but 1.6 is what he would want. There would be a few things that needed to be changed over there, but it's got sprinklers, it's got a fire system, it's, it's got an elevator. So, where is this? Right the Apple building, right Apple right building. Nice and central. Does it look like front a Norton building? In front of the Pierce's, right? No. It's, it's a, it's that no, big hip roof building. No. Right out there. It's not a Morton. It's absolutely not a Morton. It's the one in front of Pierce's Plaza, right? right? Yes. Right on. Oh, front. Yeah. oh okay. Yeah. What's in there now? Uh, Dimat. It's a company. Namac. Yeah. They're pretty much the only renter in that building. Mm. Have we looked at this? Um, yes. Well, I know the selectmen looked at it. And what was the issue? It's, it's fourteen thousand square. It's fourteen thousand square foot building, Seems and it's all offices. I mean, I'm sure there's a reason. I don't know. Like one point six million at fourteen thousand square feet with elevators, and just from here. It, it has. Here, it has an elevator. It has sprinklers. It has a fire alarm. Um, uh, I know because I. We did this. Yeah, with fire alarm. Well, yeah. there's got to be something. There's got to be something, right? And you know what the funny thing is? Or is it just, nah, there's, there's this guy <laughs> that, I don't, he works for the state DOT, and he said to somebody, hey, if you need more parking, we'll just mow down all the, tree, all the brush and the trees on, on the other side of the building, on the highway side of the building, so that you have more parking. So. Maybe. They that was in the mix when they yes. initially went out to yeah. look at all the properties, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and, and that would have been five, six, seven years ago. Yeah, it, would have, it was like a million dollars. Uh, so yeah. million but for some reason or other. So from a, from our perspective, from a financial need, how do we find out, right? Yeah. I mean, if we just look at it from a dollars and cents, yeah. if that makes more sense. Right. Why are we looking? Yeah. They yeah. didn't want to move to Pineville. Yeah. Turn to the rusty can. 
Or the <laughs> we get a yeah, but we do get a everybody's. Bad I've heard this all. We're time. already here. I know, so. <laughs> Who, how do we kick that off? To start I mean, I think we can ask whoever. Well, it's up to the selectmen if they. Yeah. Who knows what they're gonna do? Yeah. I think we ought to. Uh, I think it's so funny because the people, so, so the people in Plum Island or in in Newbury say. Well, we'd have to drive all the I mean, way. You could ask. Wait a minute. Do, should Wait, we, we take another look at the to. Apple Building since we're going up a bit? That would be a legitimate question. Exactly. Sure. And yeah. and the thing is, the the people that have leases in that building, they have one year leases. So yeah. if if it went if it went through, then when their lease was up, and I don't know what the dates of their leases are. And what, their and what is the responsibility of a, of the selectmen? Let's just assume for this board, if they're, we we assume that it makes financial sense, and, and they're just like, no, we don't want to do that. If we're saying it's their decision, what is the what are, what is our what is our responsibility to say? Hey, you have you, can you provide us with the reasons why? Can you provide us with what here we, are the buildings? What we do, almost right. Okay. What we do is they'll say, here are a number of different possibilities. Mm -hmm. We look at the finances yeah. and say, okay, this one is this, this one is this. Okay. What do we have for any backup or what information can we get? Um, well, we only get the information from, from the selectmen. Correct. Or town administrator. No, no, we had, when we yeah. did things like, when we did site selection, we went and got information from people other than the selectmen as to what this is going to cost, what do we get, what are the trade-offs. So there was a lot of work that went into uh, that. But when it came down to it, I'll tell you, they ignored the financial part. True story. I mean, that sounds no, I crazy. Agree. I mean, what's the point of the was that? Was, but that was a site, was that that was site si selection. See, that, that was a different process. Sure, that sure. was site selection. Right. Yeah, that they made their, because like, we had the governor's site. Yeah. Well, I guess so, I, I would love to. I would love to say, you know, based on where we are, I think that is something we should explore as well as other places. And I, I think it's it's their responsibility. I would assume this. I don't know. You know, you know that. They need to do their due diligence, present that to this board. This board then looks at the financials, that's the purpose. And then we make our recommendation based on these these sites. That would be the uh, that's the same we actually go through the building committee. I think you could probably be creative in this Maybe let's, if, as a starting place, can they give us, or maybe Tracy can give us the, all of the previous sites that were looked at. They must have some data as to what, what, why they made the decisions that they made, and then that might answer the vast majority of our questions. So what I'm well, hearing, I can, we can, we can actually can go that, that right now, yeah. which is when we did the site selection, okay, it was a basically a vote process. We, we looked at things. For instance, governors. Yeah. That was a non owned we have to put the utilities in. And the place they had us was really bad ground. So uh, that, that was going to be a really tough deal for, for not only. Route 1 was a, a great site. Uh, it was also one that had water and sewer close enough. Uh, and as was the center of the town where we had a you know, site selection was made. There were a couple of sites that we looked at that were just not buildable for what we needed. Okay. So we, we had those three. Dunmer was, was ruled out. Between the two, there were people on both sides for Route 1 and for uh, 
maneuver it. It was just a vote. I could attempt to maneuver it, but it was not a unanimous vote. Yeah. And, and when you guys did the, the, who does the research on this is a bad site, this is a good site? And, and where is that? Had, we had, it. Uh, was it, was it, was it, wasn't it a separate committee? It was a separate committee. There was a site selection committee. Yeah. They looked at, I and mean, they got some engineering on the different sites. Yeah, didn't, didn't they do some yeah. engineering? Yeah. I thought they did, yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt, though, to ask the question. And since we're going uh, out. One so, of the people who was uh, on that was Chuck, who was pushing for the application. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, when you look at it, it's right off the line track. Mm -hmm. So people from New can come by Route 1. Route 95, bing bing, you're right there, you're back on the highway or wherever you're going, and it's not, it's a little easier. Mm -hmm. In my estimation, mm -hmm. it's easier to get there. Yeah. So we don't, uh, oh yeah, we do it from time to time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, we usually we work through Tracy. Yeah. We often have, we don't have a giant meeting sometimes. Usually before the town meeting, before annual town meeting. Tracy will go over the proposals. And um, it's, but we, they vote first. And then we vote for every, uh, if we send a warrant to town meeting, it requires us to make a recommendation either up or down. But the selectmen vote is what we do. So what if our vote, uh, sorry, I, I we've just, had, we've what if our vote, but let's say we, we see all the sites yeah. as, you know, well, that's just pure, let's just say there's yeah. pure transparency. Here are the sites that we're looking at. One of the sites is Apple, wherever. And then this group says, based on the financials, this is the site that we think is the best suited for the town. They vote differently than our vote. What happens then? Their vote would go to tap to the town meeting. We, we would either vote it up or down at our meeting. So and it still goes, but it just goes without saying no. That we well, disagree. The selectmen set the, sure. set the warrant and they set what, right. what's going okay. before the town. Okay. Yeah, but there have been times when the selectmen, usually we come to some sort of a meeting of the minds before it's Yeah. Yeah. But, so curiosity, if, <laughs> no matter what happens, it goes forward. With either an up or a down from us. Yes. Correct. Yes. Just since the blue. Well, because we have, by law, we have to make a recommendation to the town meeting. The town meeting can make a decision, and they have in the past, where selectmen recommended it. We did. The town meeting didn't either, because we said it for whatever reason. Yeah. It was Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's sort of a check in the balance. Yeah, so I think it's our duty just to make sure that we're getting all the yeah. understanding. Here are all the scenarios, here are all the financials, and then here's what our recommendation would be, whether they choose to take that or not. <coughs> At a town meeting, I would prefer to be able to say, look, I don't necessarily vote that, let's just say it was Governor Dummer or mm -hmm. the town, because Apple, and here's why, here are the financials. So collectively, we think this was it. It never even made it to the table, but at least we can explain oh, yeah. why no. <coughs> And, as, and that comes up. That comes up. Sure. Even yeah. as individual members, yeah. there are times when there's a, an individual member might speak on the floor. Right. Not we have. Happen too often. But oh, that's <laughs> <yeah. laughs> good for them. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I've done it. Oh, yeah. 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 But yeah. But it makes more sense to take the point before the committee and then the select them to take my decision. The committee said that then they go with either. We feel strongly about this, we're still going to fall with it versus having to speak the discussion after the point. Yeah, it, does, it makes more sense, right? Like, from a financial committee, our job is to look at all the potential. We look at the building committee, should look at yeah. present here are, the, here are your sites. We do the recommendation based on financials. That goes it is a, it's a, it's an ongoing forward. process back and forth. It's it really not, we get to the it's end, end and decide. Yeah. We, there's yeah. a lot of Communication. But, but I think just thinking process. that it sounds a little weird that their vote has happened before 
This board is voting yeah, this out. They're voting this out in the discussion. Discussion yeah. before. Yeah. 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 Discussion before. Yeah. If, if, I get that. If, if you look at, if you look <laughs> at the town meeting Somebody's got to vote first. It will say finance committee does not recommend or yeah. finance committee recommends. The board of selectmen recommend. Finance They're charged by law to establish the warrant. Oh, I'm not. Oh, and then, just, oh, and then we are in charge. Good charge. Good. <laughs> a lot to make a recommendation on whether or not we agree. Never makes sense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in some way, I look at it being a way for the second to say, you know what? We had a board look at it, and his decision was, and that's what's guiding us. Versus, well, that often happens. They don't. It's not what because they have to do financials too. I mean, they they have to do diligence, and usually it's it's um, with Tracy and whoever. I mean, oftentimes we do this. People on this board did more financial due diligence and shared that with the selectmen before they, you know, might, you know what I'm saying. We, we did, we did, we did the numbers. We run. Well, what is the impact on taxes? What other options are there? You know, that's happened. So, so outside of the selectmen, let's assume there's no bias with the selectmen. I think it might make sense to talk to Tracy. Oh yeah, and the and the building committee because I don't think they. From, from oh, their yeah. perspectives, they don't care, right? They're just like, here's here's your seven sites. Here's a potential lease, buildings for yeah. lease. They're going to have to come up with this either way, it sounds like, because this is... And then at least we have a sense for what are we... We should review that. The immediate need facing the town is the lease on this building. Sure. So I think what I'm, what I'm hearing right now immediately is that there's some sense that in that process should we take another look at Apple again? And that's a legitimate question sure. we can convey. I honestly too. think we should. I think that's fair. Should or should we? Should. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it's I mean, I mean and, 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 and there may be a whole host of reasons right away mm -hmm. where it's out. Right. But we don't know those at right. this point. No, I think so I, I will, if sense. you want, I will be able to. Because then I'd only have to walk across the park and walk. Okay. <laughs> well, there's the rest of the folks. <laughs> she has to recuse herself. <laughs> yeah. Well, there, uh, no, there are actually, people that had to recuse Actually, themselves. because Apple Just, is yeah, a customer yeah. of mine, I oh, would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could give you information yeah. about what I know yeah. about it, but I, I would probably have to recuse myself yeah. because they're a customer. Yeah. I will. I will send a note. I mean, I've never and find out what if if it's feasible. Yeah. I've not um, been in the building other than on the first floor. But, um, you guys have done it for us. What the heck is it? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. We're almost done. We'll go out around. Have a good meeting. I figured they'd be there for hours. I think that makes sense. Okay. I do. You know, yes. It's worth just it. take a look at it. Yeah. Take a look at it. Yeah. I don't have a clue what it's like. <laughs> and I know it was rejected seven or eight years ago. But anyway. I think there's um, some bias about five years Moving. Yeah. Well, what was the name? No. Never mind. We don't want to. Actually, there were two bifielders on the committee. I got okay. Not oh, yeah. We made the recommendation. So, so what's no, there? Three. Paul Garris was on. Mike was on. That's right. Yeah. Paul Garris was on. And Chuck. Uh, Chuck. And. Yeah. Who lived on Oh, Mountain. 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 So there are three bifielders on. Wow. Yeah. But, Anyway, let's move yeah, on. Yeah, let's go. Let's any, go. Are there any committee reports, CPC, yet? You haven't met? Uh, CPC has not met. Uh, and the master plan, we have another uh, meeting coming up to work on the finalizing the master plan. Okay. And is anyone from here the district communications committee? You on that call? No, I believe they met at the time I couldn't hold it. Okay. What are the items? Meeting tomorrow night. 
we have not we have not appointed anyone to that right. committee. That's right. Uh, Frank was on it. Mm -hmm. The district communications committee meets quarterly. The three towns have representatives and it, with, uh, with <coughs> members of the Triton committee. And they meet quarterly, and currently they're addressing issues of the regional agreement. They have been for two or three years or longer, but it. It's usually uh, town administrator, uh, selectman, and FinCom representative, or two, one or two, I'm not certain. We had used two. We, we had two. Uh, Are they generally Wednesday nights? Thursday night. I'm sorry, it's Thursday night. It's Thursday. Yeah, Thursday night. And uh, I think Alicia was from Yes, I think she was on that. Uh, what took them to? It's a it's a quarterly meeting and mostly their discussion is around those things that affect all three towns and specifically one of the things they've they had to hammer out was the lease agreement for the buildings and how that was going to be set up because the elementary schools in one case was the for example um, Triton owned the software elementary school. Newbury owns Newbury Elementary School, and, and Rowley owns Pine Grove Elementary School. So okay. the arrangements, you know, are different. Um, and they've had to work through what that lease agreement is going to look like around Salisbury, whether Salisbury is going to, how that's going to work. And I think they've worked that out, but I haven't seen the final piece, because obviously you can't have trade. And, and there's a pass-through, even though Triton owns the building, the pass-through of the, the capital goes directly Salt to the town. pays for the building yeah. through yeah. Triton. Through Triton, Triton was able they were able to get a better deal. Uh, lower interest rate. But there are other things like insurance. No. Uh, oh, it's worth it. Other, other no, things. No, I'm, I'm sure it is. Other, other things that they've had to work through. And Larry did a great job. Larry was on that committee that was, and, and they, I think it's resolved, but I haven't, I haven't seen it. That's just one of the things. The other thing are, is, is tuition and how it's paid. Uh, the formula for... But isn't that three. state set? It doesn't have to be. Oh, I thought it the does state not have to be. And districts have different formulas. Um, for example, our, we belong to the Whittier district. Mm -hmm. And we have, there's two pieces to that. One is operational, which is simply based upon the number of kids we send. And then there's capital, which is based on the number of resident students in the town. It's just, just the way it is, it, because technically the way they look at that, and it's been that way since 1969. Um, it's a building that, stands ready to serve the communities, you know. And it, it worked, it's worked. But Triton's, there's a two-step formula, and what comes into play is the town's wealth is a factor and uh, how that's arrived at. Um, I don't want to take the time to go through all that, but, but it's, you'll get there. <laughs> and, and it's not a bad... It, that comes from the state, um, and um, we're on the default. Yeah, yeah, right, mm -hmm. right. So, I mean, it, you're at North Andover. That's all along. So yes, not an issue. Right. Any right. regional Much school district has so. that. And three I'm town sure. regions are different than two town regions, and right. and how it's how it's set up. But yeah. there's, it's um, it's individual. It's income, and it's. Um, the property uh, assessed valuations. It's how they it. That is something I would look at a year from now. Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, okay. And I, I don't mean to, I, I just started back to school. Yeah. And so until that's out of the off the plate, Thursdays are actually. I, I, I will try to go tomorrow night. I mean, Thursday night. I think I'm free. Uh, just so we can have some. Yeah. Master if okay. someone else is interested, that would be fine too. So, right. Uh, isn't Thursdays cigars and 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, funny after that, the you know, it's funny that I'm just going off here, but last night was a, the first cigar night on Plum Island. Oh, really? A little bar there, cigars and scotch. There must have been a hundred people in that uh, beach coma. You know, oh, the Bob beach coma? Oh, the beach coma. Oh, Bob was there. Oh, we look at his posse. Oh, Bob? Absolutely. Bob was there with his posse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I will go to the Triton meeting. Okay. And I'll do my best to get there. Uh, I'll go with you. Oh. Just to see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I don't have a car Thursday night. So you can pick me up. I know somebody who. I just realized my wife is <laughs> in my truck isn't running. A good deal. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's at seven, and it's in Salisbury. It's at because uh, they move them around. Oh, wait, it's in. Uh, I, I don't get the information. But yeah. So all right, right. that's good. Sounds good. Any other business? Nope. Now, December is often a month we don't have a meeting okay. because there's usually nothing going on. So why don't we set a meeting with the idea that we? Okay. All right. So the first, it'll be the first back. Given what's going on with everything, I think that's a good idea. Yes. Yeah. There may be a need for us to meet. Okay. So it'll be the first Tuesday, which is what's the date? It's the fourth. Fourth. Okay. Twelve four. Okay. Hey. Nice. Have that room. Yes. If we if we can stick to the first Tuesday, we usually have the room. Okay. That would be nice. Yeah. But this is this is better. It's than not kitchen. actually bad. Oh God, yes. Okay. I would uh, I would make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second to that? I'll second.